check. We up front and don't front. You ain't checked the nigga in my background yet. When the pressure on, he gon' back down. Yes, I will close this backhand. Your biggest rap fan, but I ain't selfish, nigga. You gon' get smacked round next. You hear that click clack? Get used to that sound, Rex. I'm like a procrastinating tip ever since I picked up this pistol. I ain't put my Mac down yet. Oh. And judging by your swag and your style, it seems like you wanna be black er, but you can't cause I'm black er than you. I battled a lot of niggas that's whack er, but never battled nobody whack er than you. Said you wanna be disaster, but king of the dog would rather give me a battle with disaster than you. And now it's a rap er, cause in this battle I'ma just prove I'm a better rapper than you. Surf, yeah. How long a surf? Uh, I, I got surf. Real talk. I, that's that's the best I ever saw surf. Um, I didn't really like Hollow too much that battle. And it's just real shit. I fuck with Hollow. You know what I'm saying? And I, I didn't like Hollow too much that battle. It, he looked rusty. And it's like that's probably the worst I saw Hollow, and the best I saw surf. You know what I'm saying? Surf. So I, I got surf like with a with a clear one. What up, man? It's your boy Chris. I'm by you checking in about the breakdown Hollow the Don versus Sue Surf. Um, before I even get into that battle, man, let me just go back to this disaster versus Rex battle. A lot of people that looked at my recap felt like I didn't really um, give like a fair assessment of that battle. I did watch that battle. I was talking to Averb a lot because a lot of people might not know the Averb and disaster battle in September on King of the Dot. So he was kind of scouting that battle and I was with Twiz trying to charge my phone and shit. So but I did catch the battle and I even caught some bars from the battle. I always felt like the battle was 2-1 either way. If you like Disaster, you might rock with him. If you like Rex, you might rock with him. And um, and if you like both of them, you'll just have to decide. I definitely do not feel it's 2-1 either way, clearly. I don't feel like anybody clearly won. A lot of people have been hitting me up talking about Diz, beat Rex, clearly. Um, we all saw the trailer. I said you want to be a gangster, then let's pop your cherry. You think that's fruity, you gonna get your body buried. I'll beat this pussy up like the bulldog from Tom and Jerry. Your whole squad is scary. Y'all ain't ready for the type of glocks we carry. I have so many cans out the back of the car, the license plate will read. We just Like that? No. But y'all scream and go crazy when he say shit like that. <laughs> now that was the kind of shit disaster was spitting in the battle. And I, I'm, for me personally, I don't feel like that's a hot bar that he, that uh, Twiz picked for the trailer. I will say the disaster was hit or miss. He had some nice shit. He had some okay shit. Rex had some nice shit. Rex had some okay shit. Disaster did have another corny line that I remember clearly where he said, "I got a left." hand or left hook named Bobby or right hook named Whitney and all they do is crack heads and he went up to Rex and did crack heads. I know a lot of y'all remember that bar but I mean how many crack head Whitney Bobby flips have we heard in battle rap? So I'm not hating on Disaster Man but it's just like I don't get caught up in the live camera type shit. I mean I probably did the first time I went to an event but now it's like I can really kind of differentiate between what was really hot and what wasn't. So me personally it's going to be 2-1 either way. Now, Hollow the Don and Surf. Um, first things first, Arsenal is my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Arsenal Untold Truth. Make sure y'all check that out. But that nigga need to chill the fuck out. Like, he was doing a little bit too much in round one, in my opinion. And that new uh, bang, bang, bang shit from Don DeMarco, um, he need to cut that out too. Like, that, that shit is not what's up. So, they both had some dry spots in this battle, Surf and Hollow. You know, it wasn't the best Surf and it wasn't the best Hollow that we've seen. I think the best Surf was probably Big T and the best Hollow was Big T as well. So, but um, overall, man, I thought it was a pretty decent battle. As far as round one, if you watch my recap, I told you that Surf won round one. Round two was debatable, but I add Surf and Hollow won round three. I think it played out exactly like that in this battle. 
Hollow had some good shit in round one, but he was also kind of corny in round one and throwing the money. I turned this into Sue's Rendezvous, um, make Surf Strip. Like, I didn't really like a lot of shit. I felt like he was very rusty in round one. And I think Surf did a good job of making Hollow go first so that Hollow couldn't rebuttal him in that first round. I did like the way he got at Lux in the very first bar about when niggas say shit like that, they choke like Lux and Cannabis. I felt like that was nice. My favorite line of round one from Hollow was, uh, the cap the leader shit about surf being the best thing in jersey i felt like that was kind of hot as far as um surf round one i like the rebuttal he did about the ar across his chest and hollow had the army shirt on i thought that was kind of clever um the cap space line from the trailer i thought that was shit was a nice bar loyalty over money grind time will still be an up and running league right now you Con, Core, DNA, and a couple other niggas all playing for a different team right now. I mean, I mean, with them names, Grind Time will still be afloat with your bum ass. And Smack ain't gonna do shit but stand there and smile, smrrr, because he get paid off your dumb ass. That shit was crazy to me. I was fucking with that heavy. Um, so yeah, Surf to me, he clearly took round one. I didn't really like Hollow's round one at all, to be honest. As far as round two is concerned, um, Hollow started to heat up in round two. I like his Gensu line. Let me tell you about this bitch Sue. You know what this bitch do? Let another nigga pimp Sue smack him too hard and get his pimp Sue. Let me tell you about this bitch Sue. You know what this bitch do? Let another nigga be his big homie because he's 6'2". Let me tell you about this bitch Sue. You know what this bitch do? <laughs> Battle me. If you know he's going to lose, it's for the big view. It's off with his head. I'm sharp. It's off with his head. Should I say it again, Sue? That shit was fire. That's probably one of the best lines he spit this battle. The only real is the company you keep. That Chris Webber timeout in Michigan, that shit was dope too. Um, so yeah, he had a pretty good round too. Surf had a pretty good round too with the round trip, vacate resort flip. Like that Richard Pryor shit, all your Pryor shit was funny. That shit was kind of nice. That he had a tuition principal teacher line that was kind of hot. He also said something about MMG. He ain't about that company, so Wale hands on him. Like Wale from MMG. Thought that was kind of nice. I thought Surf Edge round two in my opinion. Round three, Hollow was in his bag a lot in this round, especially in the second half of the round. He had to swear to God shit. After I tied the knot, they both, you know, they settled down. I thought that was hot. The Febreze commercial shit was kind of decent too. Probably my favorite line about this, this particular round was. Shout out BK, LG, I stay up in the spot. Yeah! Them the niggas that'll hit your face up with the Glock. Every day I'm in the hood. Tape up with the cops. KD, Dwayne Wade. I wake up to the block. <laughs> like that shit was that shit was nice. Surf round three was kind of blah to me. It was just a few decent things in there. The point shaving line I thought was kind of hot. Coming after 12, the, when I give him this six is after 12. That whole little scheme he was saying was kind of decent. He had like a game scheme, like a board game scheme. If you play a lot of board games when you were younger, he used operation, he used like a lot of shit. The operation connects four. It's not a game when we pop out. If he ain't get the clue, he in trouble. No rebound, get the box out. Right hand blue like Twister when them Glocks out. No hopscotch, no hopscotch, no hopscotch. They get a number in a box when we hop out. Niggas run, bullets fly, clips drop out. Kids scream, mamas cry, eyes pop out. All my little niggas got Jenga tatted. That mean when they come, it's to take the block out. Yeah, that was one of the ones you'll probably catch on camera. You might not really catch in the building, but that whole little scheme about all the games, like if you fuck with them games when you were younger, then you kind of got that. Hollow clearly took the third round of me. Surf clearly took the first round, and I edged Surf in round two, just like on my recap. So I got 2-1 Surf. Yeah, man, just some final thoughts on this battle. I felt like there were definitely some dry spots for Surf. You know, I didn't like a, a, a couple of his rebuttals, and I didn't really like some of his subtitles that he did. I thought they were kind of off base. He actually even had a rebuttal that said something about you watch Full House 2, and Hollow even said he watched Full House 2. Even with Hollow to Don, I felt like he um he redid that J Focus line and said, even though I was so focused, I had to bring it back. He redid a Young Ill bar that he did from the Young Ill battle. Um, he was like 
uh, kind of bar flipping as far as you said this and you should have said it like this like that was kind of shit that i don't really expect hollow to do when you've been off two years i want you to be a little bit more original i want you to come with a little bit more come with something different he had overused angles with the detroit situation the, the suge wasn't there for you uh, smack had to bail you out it wasn't your gun like all that shit has been said by either big t or conceited so i feel like those were the pitfalls and um in each of them and some of surf bars were kind of weak too like whatever that shit he said about jay-z you can tell where he fucking be or some shit like that like some of that shit wasn't really hitting to me but i still edge surfing this battle two to one if you watch my prediction blog then you know that i was going for hollow to don i felt like that he should win this battle clearly he's been off for a while and that he needed to win this battle in order to get that matchup with Lux. And um, if you watch my known three recap, then you'll know that I said this battle was debatable. I said Surf won round one clearly. Hollow took the third and round two was very, very close. And I still feel that same way. I just feel like Surf won round two. I can't argue if you feel like Hollow to Don won round two. And it just reminds me of this. Um, it just brings me to this blog that I'm thinking about doing like winning live versus winning on camera. And a lot of people say what's more important, winning live or winning on camera, winning on camera lasts forever. And it's true, but I feel like you need to be able to do both. And the battle rappers that have a problem winning live, I think we need to stop giving them a pass. Because honestly, when you win live, you never really lose on camera. Just think about it, go back and watch a lot of battles. And the bottom line is, is if a battle rapper wins live, the majority and there's no biased crowds there's no like bullshit like diddy adding an extra ten thousand to the pot versus verb and shit like that if everything is on an even playing field when you win live you normally always win or it's debatable you know what i'm saying you're gonna always have people feeling like you won it's, it's very few battles that you can go back and look at and say someone won live and clearly lost on camera you know what I'm saying? So it's a blog. I mean, I've been doing some research, man. It's a blog I'm thinking about doing. You know, I try to think outside the box and bring some different shit to the table. So as far as what's next for um, Surf and Hollow to Don, now I talked to Mook and he told me that he was going to take Surf at Summer Madness or sometime after that if Surf was able to, um, you know, get past Hollow to Don. So is it safe to say that uh, Murder Mook will return to the URL state? Oh, yeah, it's definitely safe to say that. That's most definitely. Yeah. Any anybody on the hit list? Um, a couple I gotta names. see what's going on tomorrow. Okay. Let me see what's going on tomorrow, and then, then you know what I mean. Then we we can uh, we can talk about that, you know. But definitely. I really think that they're gonna try to set up Surf and Mook at Summer Madness three. Oh, I think it'll be a good battle. I'm not gonna count Mook out. I still feel like we need to see one more battle from Mook before we just say. He ain't ready for this era. I still feel like the way he, anal he's very analytical. The way he broke Iron Solomon down, you may not like it, but it lets me know that he thinks his battle's through. And I, I think he'll be able to break down Surf. Um, now, whether it be a, effective or not, we shall see. Um, Hollow to Don and Lux, I still think this battle needs to go on. Even if, even if Hollow lost this battle in a lot of people's eyes, I just felt like he needed that warm-up battle before he can really, really take on Lux anyway. And he's going to have to be a lot better in order to beat Lux. And I think he can be. Um, so we shall see, man. So Summer Madness 3, the only confirmed matches so far are Jazz and Miss Hustle. That's the only matches that's really confirmed for Summer Madness 3. But uh, shout out to the Facebook group. It's unbiased review, man. Untold Truth's coming soon, man. A lot of people like that shit Mickey Fax was saying on my recap, man. So I might, I might drop his Untold Truth next. He also put out his second round for Big T on battle rap arena so y'all check that out um i got his first round recorded so i probably put out his first round too so but yeah man unbiased review facebook group follow me on twitter backslash unbiased review peace yeah.